Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today's video, we are going to be unpacking and organizing the toiletry, makeup, vanity, towel, that kind of areas in my sister's new house. So we did get some of her house set up, but we have been struggling with the bathroom spaces so one thing we did not notice when she purchased this house is there is no linen closet so spots for like the furniture cleaners or the extra products or even towels we had to get a little creative and figure out where to put them so the first thing I did was unpacked the boxes that we still hadn't got to and then I sorted them out into sections. So I went with stuff she's going to use right away, stuff that's back stocked, stuff that can go in a different area and stuff that maybe can go into the laundry room area. So that way it made it easier for me to see how much stuff we had to try and fit into these certain areas. So this is the vanity she got and thank goodness she bought this because if we had to store all her makeup and hair products in the bathroom, I don't know what we would do because there is just not enough space. So this was amazing. Everything fit in here perfectly. She's got all her hair stuff on the right side. It's a really deep drawer. So I was able to stand up all the products, which is absolutely amazing. I love this vanity. It's from Ikea. I have no idea what it's called, but if you are looking for something for makeup and hair products, I would highly suggest looking for one of these. So my goal here was to put this bin in the drawer so that the products wouldn't fall over when you're opening and closing it, but unfortunately it just wasn't going to fit right where it was going to make sense. So what I did was I took the two containers of, I think they're like hair butter or curling, they're curling something. <laughs> Um, and put them in the middle so that way it could hold up the taller products so that when you're opening and closing the drawer they're not falling all over the place. So my sister tells me that when she watches me work and organize, it's like a puzzle. She referred to some kind of game, but I don't know what it is because I'm constantly rearranging and just like tweaking, tweaking, tweaking until I find the perfect spot. So you will notice in most of my videos, I am constantly kind of just slightly adjusting things until I feel like I like where they end up. Now these two storage bins I did pick up at Walmart and I am so glad that I did. I do need to bring my label maker over. Yes, I'm obsessed with my label maker and label um, some of the items for her. So under here, it really helped. I put in her bath stuff, the bottom drawer, the middle drawer is like open toothpaste, extra razors. And then the top drawer um, is still empty actually. Then I put her bath stuff on the top of it and it seems to be good to go. So my niece is two years old and she absolutely loves having her own makeup and hair tools in the bathroom when my sister is getting ready. So I made sure to give her a little container where she could store her stuff and that way when she comes in here, she knows where all her little hair things are so that she can get ready with her mom. This piece of furniture my sister bought for under her big window in her bedroom as like a seating area and 
Good thing she did because we had nowhere to put her towels. So I ended up putting the big towels in this side cupboard, small hand towels, face towels, and hair towels in the top drawer. And then in the end cupboard, any of the overstock products. So these are things that you would probably put in a linen closet which unfortunately she does not have. So this is gonna be like the linen bench for her. Now this bathroom is her daughter's bathroom slash guest bathroom. So I really wanted to make this make sense because again, we didn't have a linen closet to put um, some of like the first aid things or just like random household products that you accumulate. So what I did in here was I put this wire shelf in. This drawer is a first aid drawer. What I ended up doing was any of the upholstery um, cleaning things that we wanted to keep separate I actually moved them into the laundry room again there is not much space in there so I had to be um, really organized and thoughtful on what products were going in which rooms this little storage three drawer thing here again i got at walmart so what i did was the top drawer is her daughter's like bath bombs extra toothbrushes the middle drawer is stuff that like guests could use so extra toothpaste little travel soaps and shampoos unused like floss containers things that we all have just like kicking around our bathrooms and then the bottom one is stuff for um, doing your nails and then I put her little nail polish kit on top in the middle I made a small bin of like the chamomile lotion thermometer um, fix rub the things that she might need for her daughter like if she's sick put that into the middle of the cupboard with her extra lotions and body washes then the top rack of the shelf I just put some extra hand towels and her daughter's towel she did buy a set of matching towels for this bathroom so this way they're all together and if she needs to swap them out she knows where those ones are Make sure if you guys like this video, you hit the thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe for more cleaning and organizing videos. We've got some big decluttering coming up as always. I wanted to end the video with some clips of her bedroom. She got to decorate it all on her own and pick out whatever she wanted and it looks so beautiful in here. I am so glad she finally has her own oasis and I'm so glad I got to organize it all. So make sure you guys stay tuned and I will see you guys on Friday.